Hi, my name is Heather and welcome to Strings and Threads. Today I wanted to come on and talk about crochet hooks a little bit. I have just basically used the ones that I've had from my Grammy and from whenever I needed to buy, you know, just the regular, they're Boyd or Susan Bates. But a couple of Christmases ago, my husband was looking up crochet hooks and he had bought me a set of tulips. This is just one of them. And I know that a lot of people are in love with the tulips and I think they're, they're okay, but I wasn't like goo goo gaga about them. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but I wasn't like overly excited about it. I didn't, you know, I felt like they were a little bit short in my hand. I do the knife grip. Now I have held it like a pencil and my theory is you can let me know what you think. And if you love them, I think that's great. I'm not criticizing them. They're not awful crochet hooks. It's just, to me, they're not the, the best thing that I've ever used, you know? But when I hold it like a pencil, it feels uh, very comfortable. So I don't know, my theory with this is that if you're a pencil holder, maybe this is a little bit better. Let me know what you think. It's fine. Don't don't get mad at me if if uh, you are a knife gripper and you love this. That's totally fine. It's not. I'm just telling you my opinions. But I have been watching Teresa from Critters Crochet for quote yeah probably since she started her channel, and she's been crazy for the O Fire uh, hooks. And so she is affiliated with them and I thought that I would give them a try. So I used her affiliation link. I am gonna put her affiliation link in the description. So if you were interested in trying these crochet hooks, then you can use her link and, and it helps her out to do that. So I bought two just to test them out and try them out. And they came in this cute envelope very shiny and a nice little sticker that has their company name on it. I have opened these already because I was dying to take a look at them and try them. And I'm gonna, you know, show you me using them. But uh, the crochet hooks come in these tubes. And I believe they're plastic. Here's the one that I got. I got an H hook and an I hook. This one is the I hook. And this is their, win I believe it was called Winter Wonderland model. But I do like the way that it looks. But it, more than that, I'm going to compare the two hooks for you here. This one is bigger and it's shaped way differently. This one, it almost feels like you should have your thumb there to do it. This, this feels really comfortable if I were to crochet in this way. I don't think this, I don't, maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but I don't know that this one would be as comfortable in a pencil position, but to hold it in your hand in the knife position like I do, it, it grows with your hand and it goes beyond my fingers, which already I like. So I'll show you the other one. The other one I got in my birthstone. You can get sets or just one with your birthstone opal. And this is the H hook. This uh, tulip that I'm showing is an eye hook. It's a 5.5 millimeter. But again, it's longer and it just, it kind of forms in your hand nicely. So I'm going to just crochet a few rows with both of these to show you how they look and how they feel. I'll talk about how they look and feel. And I know there are tons of crochet hooks, so there's even more that can be chosen from, but I, I just thought that I would try to compare the Tulip and the Ophire ones because uh, I, I know that 
Teresa has been raving about them for a long time. So let's give it a try. All right, I just picked a random medium weight yarn. This is probably Red Heart Super Saver or Mainstays. It's probably one of the two of those. So with the tulip, I want you to take notice of my hand. I'm going to try and put my hand in the picture as much as I can here to show it. So it's kind of right up here. I can put my thumb here to grip, but it's pretty, you know, I'm trying to hold on to the bottom here and it's pretty thin. You know, I have to really kind of push down here to keep it still in my hand. I don't, I don't have a, I don't use a lot of movement with my um, crocheting hand here. So there's kind of how it looks and feels here. Okay, and this is a uh, 5.5 millimeter. And this is a 5.5 millimeter of fire. I think I'm saying it correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not. You can see how much farther down my hand the hook goes. And it grabs it on pretty quickly. There's a different view. You can go in. It's sliding a, a little, but I'm wondering if I rinsed it off because this is a brand new hook. I wonder if that would prevent the sliding. Could be that I'm nervous on camera too. <laughs> but here you can see the hook goes over my hand. So I do feel like that for the way that I hold the hook, I like the feeling of this one better. And like I said, I'm not trying to diss my tulip people. I know there are people who are loving tulip and that's fine. I'm curious if the way that you hold it makes a difference. I could see liking these a lot if I was a pencil pencil holder. This one I think would be harder because it would be top heavy. I think it would be harder if you were a pencil. This feels really good for a knife grip. So let me know your thoughts and your opinions and what you like. And if you were interested in trying a, a hook, you can buy them individually or as a set on the website. And I will leave Teresa's affiliate link in my description and feel free to use that to help out her channel. Have a great day. Bye.